uh, look, my opinion is they shouldn't be here. Um, they've been paid a lot of money to go play on a different tour that is trying to buy the professional game in golf and um, they're taking spots away from from players that really need spots this week. Um, you know, this is a massive event on the European Tour and you're you know there's there's guys that have missed out because of those players that could have been in and could have kept their cards for next year and and kept themselves in a job the next year you know these these guys don't have to worry about that that sort of stuff they're here because their tour doesn't give world ranking points and this tour does so um like my opinion they shouldn't be here but you know the the court ruling in july was that they can be so until that gets rectified um are not rectified, but is it gets more in, in in detail and more in depth. Um, you know, they they can play, and and that's you know we can't really do anything about that. I can voice my opinion, but it doesn't change anything. And likewise, Ryder Cup qualification starts this week. Would I be fair to say the general consensus amongst many leading European players is that you don't really want those guys anywhere near the team this time next year? <sighs> not really. I mean, they've been divisive, but I think about the guys that have went from the tour. Um, Especially this tour, you know, their their, you know, their best days are behind them, and and they would, you know, I think they would concede that as well. So like we have to, we have to think about the future of the European team. You know, we have to, you know, we've got like a group of seven players, like a core seven, I think, and we've got we need to fill that extra five with young, ambitious players. We need to blood a few new people in Rome, and look, regardless of the result in Rome, I think that'll be ultimately a really good thing for the european Ryder cup team because you're bringing fresh blood in and you're and and you know it's a little bit of a rebuild at this point but i i think that's what what we need what are your personal thoughts on having those players here right obviously look this is uh this is you know a, a big talking point in the world of golf and and here this week um i personally I can't say I'm 100% okay with everyone being here, but there's some of the guys that I kind of don't mind them being here, yeah. given what they've done for the tour over the years. There's certain guys that I just can't stand them being here, to be honest, and um, I don't like it that they're here. And I think, to be honest, the one thing that I've that has really annoyed me over the last few months is how disruptive they're all trying to be. And I get they're here to get world ranking points and do that, but in a way I think they're here for that and to be disruptive. I don't think they're here for anything else you know, obviously they're here for world ranking points somewhat but not a little bit is to be disruptive as well and I just don't like it and I just think it's you know it's the BMW championship they've been BMW have been so good to us uh, in, in golf over the years and you know we're all here during the week and it's all we're talking about and I feel like we should be standing here talking about how great Wentworth is and how big the tournament is and um, not talking about these guys that actually shouldn't be here and don't deserve to be here the ones you can't stand being here, I'm assuming, are the likes of Taylor Gooch and Abraham Anser. The ones that you maybe don't mind are the likes of the US with Ian Poulter, Sergio Garcia. But has there been any tension with those guys in particular this week? I mean, have you spoken to them? Would you would you shake your their hand if you saw them in the player lounge? The Europeans? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, I'm, I'm not... Anybody who knows me knows I don't like confrontation. I don't like uh, any of that stuff. So I'm, I'll just... I'll, look, I'll say hello. I'll do my thing. Um... You know, that's that's the way I'll be. Um, obviously, the lads, I've known them for years and uh, some of them became, you know, quite good friends over the last few years. But obviously, I haven't seen them in a long time now. So, um, you know, don't hang out with them anymore. You know, won't be going for dinner, but that's just because we haven't seen each other. But, um, yeah, look, there's certain lads that I'd shake hands with and there's certain lads I wouldn't.